Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me in the car. You guys asked for it and I am delivering and we're chatting about some channel changes, some things. And when I say channel changes, just, just some enhancements, okay? And also we are doing our hair and makeup in the car. And what else are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about some hair updates. So if you're interested in this video, then keep watching. You guys wanted to see how I do my makeup in the car, so that's what we're doing today. This is a chit chat, get ready with me. Work style, I'm a glam mom. I am a full-time, I have a full-time job besides YouTube and YouTube is not a full-time job. It is a happy hobby for me and I have two beautiful boys and a lovely husband. Yes, what we're gonna do is, I've already done my base and y'all, I am in LA traffic, okay? It takes me, I left the house around eight. So it's like a hour and a half commute basically to take my son to school and from school to my job so i have time <laughs> it's a lot of stop and go i actually did a twist out i am going to take my hair down i actually could leave it in the twist and do like a, a low bun i'm gonna look you know a little bit more you know this twist out i want to look a little bit more polished and cute so let's talk about some things while we get ready y'all i bring i have like travel brushes this came from morphe and these are some random brushes okay and then i have my makeup bag i showed in my january favorites how my makeup bag looks i did like a favorites edition style so i'll leave a link of everything that i'm putting on my face and i am doing a horrible job for panning this this is a, the modern renaissance palette i'm supposed to be panning it and that palette i haven't done an update probably in like at least four or five months so i've been just like grabbing other things i wanted to talk to you guys about just like what's been going on with me and like what thoughts i have what's going on with my hair let's talk about hair first okay i my sister has been telling me for years to do the rice water like like different type of uh, DIYs. This is my sister who loves DIYs. Her husband makes beautiful furniture. Shout out to Lisa, Dr. Lisa B. She's very crafty. I think it's eight of us and left, um, eight of us, wait, four of us are left-handed, four of us are right-handed. And I can definitely see, see that the left-handed ones, it's me. Um, my sister, Lisa, who else is left-handed? Lawrence is left-handed. I want to say, is Kobe left-handed? I don't know. Me, Lawrence, Lisa, there's one more. I want to say it's Jessica. I'm not sure. I have to find out. I used to know. But we are very creative. Like... I used to draw fashion, like the fashion models and design my own clothes. I like to decorate and make things. And my sister is so good at, she actually makes these beautiful wreaths if you wanna check them out on Instagram, but she makes these beautiful wreaths. They are so pretty. Why am I w using raw sienna when I am wearing something cool tone today? That's okay. We'll let that to be the warm part and everything else be cool. I wanted to do a cool tone eye. So much for that. But she makes beautiful, beautiful wreaths. <laughs> My brother was a graphic design major. Wonderful art. He made a big mural of B.B. King. B.B. King is from Indianola, Mississippi. And... Um, before he passed they did a tribute to him and so my brother was contracted by the city I want to say the city of Jackson or the city that, no Cindy it was it the city of Indiana uh, Indio Indiola Indianola but anyway um, they contracted him and he did this big huge mural of him mural of him and mural is just a big huge like portrait on a building of he 
of B.B. King playing Lucille. Lucille is his guitar. And let me see who else. We all are like pretty much minus Lawrence. Musically inclined, we sing or play an instrument. Uh, you know, we're very artsy. Where was I going with that? Oh, anyway, the Rice Water Challenge. Yes. My sister, who's very DIY-ish, has been telling me, girl, you need... She's been telling me this for probably like a year. She, she's going to get on here and be like, girl, I told you. Now everybody's doing Rice Water Challenge. Still going to do it. Um, just because I'm at that place where I want to go and I want to do some hair growth. And I want to see if... Y'all know I have been using Nioxin for years. Well, I want to see if the rice water compared which one gives you better results. And um, I think that's something that you guys would like to know. Like, does a store-bought brand or store-bought store product, is it going to do better on, you know, is it going to do better than something that you can actually do at home? Chemical versus natural, you know? That is going to be my kind of spin on the rice water challenge. So look for that. I'm excited about that because I am really going to go heavy into hair growth challenge. I have been doing my twist outs. Um, it's been two weeks without doing a wash and go, which I really, you know, I want to give you guys some more content in terms of hair that is the thing that you guys love the most on this channel so definitely want to give you guys what you want i know i do have some beauty stuff on there you guys don't really watch my tutorials i'm just doing my makeup while i'm chatting with you guys about updates Ooh, i like the color um that's kind of like what i want to do hair growth challenge more reviews in terms of hair you'll see a lot of stuff geared towards high porosity my high porosity girls have been on it Yes, I'm really excited about bringing you guys some content for high porosity. I kind of want to like, I don't want to put myself in a box, but I do want to funnel and be more precise in my content. I did talk about getting a new camera and I'm one of those people that I want to know how to work it and everything, but at the same time, I know sometimes you got to play it by ear. If you have a YouTube channel and a, and a setup, did you like learn how to use it or did you learn as you went? I wanna know. I said that I was gonna go all mad. So much for that. You know what? This is another thing that I wanted to talk about is that I know a lot of things are going on. A lot of people are doing no buys. A lot of people are doing different challenges, but ultimately always do something because you it's going to benefit you because what's going to happen is if you don't, a lot of times people set themselves up for failure and I am guilty of that. I don't want to set myself up for failure. Like the rice water challenge I had been thinking about doing for a while and just didn't get around to it. This is perfect because um, this time is perfect because I am changing a lot of stuff about my routine. I'm not doing wash and goes as much anymore if at all and so i really want to hone on in on being healthy with my hair as i did before i'm doing a lot of things in terms of like my health i'm turning 40 this year y'all i just want i want to be healthy to be able to have fun with my kids take care of my kids i want to look good i want to look as good as the first half of my life want to travel more want to like go places and eat more i can't do too much at one time though I have to pick like maybe two, two at most three things and stick with that. So health right now and my hair is like <laughs> the two main things that I am really dealing with. I mean, I'm doing the no buy challenge. So that's the third. So I'm like, I, I don't want to take on anything else. No, I'm, I'm saving money. I am really trying to hone in and do things the right way okay so let's go ahead and do the hair and then i'll come back to my mascara oh let me put this i've been doing this this is the make it last fix the setting spray i cannot put this this 
spray is so violent that I can't go in and spray it all over my face. So I have been patting it on my face like this with a beauty blender. Just patting it over my skin and just letting it blend. If you're having issues with a violent spray, I would say do that. And just do it lightly. So let's do our hair. So I'm gonna untwist it. So pretty. Okay, to okay, I'll tell you what I used last night. I used the Smooth Naturals. I don't think they sell this anymore. The Triple Treat Styler. You know, I, I am really about using what I have right now. I did just do a did I do a natural hair haul? Did I ever record that? I don't think I did. I need to show y'all what I got. I think I did. Yes, I did. Because I showed you all the group the grow the grow wash. Um, a lot of times I will pull on my hair like this and it'll start to separate. Y'all saw that? And it brings some fullness. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna miss that styler. A lot of Smooth Naturals is glycerin free, most of it. And I also use their Nourishing Mist. Their hair, their hair products are just so good for my hair. And I use a lot of like more natural, like indie brands for my hair to grow. I saw that there's a YouTuber, not Melanin Hair Care, but she has a growth oil. And I wanna try her growth oil. Comment and let me know. Give me some recommendations for some really great growth oils. I am an oils person. I have learned that I'm more of an oils person than a butter, hair butter. Hair butter I will use on my ends and to retwist, but to initially put in my hair, I like oils. They just glide down my hair and my hair is so coily that it allows me when I smooth it down the hair strand is just even distribution of the product. So if you're having problems with patchy, like you have a moisturized area and then a patchy dry area, try switching from a butter to an oil because it might be, it might not emulsify. Um, it might not dissolve in your hand uh, good enough where it's evenly di being distributed. So this is how my hair is looking. Don't worry y'all, we gonna snatch them edges in a minute. So I'm just gonna go under and fluff a little bit because I don't, I don't think I have a pick. I might have one. Y'all, I have picks even at my desk. But try not to touch the top of it, just like I did, just did. But look at that, so pretty. I'm, ex I'm really excited about this hair growth challenge and comment and let me know your favorite Ooh, your favorite creamy styler and your favorite hair oil. I need some recommendations for some hair oils for real. I tend to like a lot of indie brands when it comes to hair care, just because a lot of women of color that have hair like mine or even like uh, Latina um, hair care stylists. Like I had... Um, Antonio, I want to say his name was, no, Fernando. I was on an Ipsy shoot and he knew all about my hair. And I was like, yes, cause you know, we, I don't know. I'm very particular about who gets into this hair y'all. And he was like, don't worry, honey. I know. And I was like, okay. And I was, I was, I was like, I've had people that don't know, and there are even like women of color and men of color that don't even, like, don't know how to do other porosity, either, either hair types. I think the thing about high porosity, it can revert back so quickly, like once water hits it. So to know certain products and to know what is going to work well uh, my hair does not work well with glycerin. Y'all know that. Because glycerin is the devil. Okay? 
I'm using this is curls um, this is probably the only curls product that I will repurchase over and over again a lot of their products are not glycerin free um, I need to find some I know that there there's some conditioners and stuff that are glycerin free but in terms of I'm talking about in terms of like styler and leave-in um, if you find one let me know because that's the only reason why I haven't really worn a curls product in such a long time but let me know because I really wanted to love some of their products it's just that it don't it doesn't work like uh, what is it hit and miss maybe I'll do a hits and miss misses brand in terms of brands because there are a lot that are not catering to people who are I wish they would have like glycerin free products that's important there's a lot of us out here we struggling you know what I'm saying this wants to make my hair revert back and not slick back out I say Satan get out of that I, my sister need to you know and y'all I don't use a brush often I try to like slick my hair but that's how it looks today alright I think I'm gonna keep my hair my lips kind of like nude glossy this is what buxom's amy this lip gloss right here is so pretty it's like a champagne pink so it is cool tone and to kind of like give it a little pizzazz let's pop a little bit of that in the inner corner there you go boom that's it you guys hair and makeup done before work and we are ready to go all right guys comment down below let me know a good hair growth oil um, that you know of no matter where it's from whether it's indie from an indie brand or if it's from the drugstore or if, if it's from Sally's and yeah, that curls did nothing for my hair right now <gasps> oh mommy needs some heavy duty let me know a good edge control to y'all while you're at it okay i know y'all got the rich recommendations don't be holding back okay i'll let y'all know my 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 good stuff you know let me know yours okay i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video bye